Hello again everyone on video two of today. This one is definitely one that I've been waiting for and one that I want and one that I know is consistently good because I've had it for several months now. It is this one. Oops. Ah, that's okay. It's not got me a dress on that bit. It is the October Boxu box. So the the poster tried to deliver this a few days ago, but because we were both out at work, there was no one in to receive it. So I rescheduled a delivery for today and it came. I can't emphasize how much I bloody love these boxes. I'm very food motivated. It's a box full of food. It's going to excite me. So, excuse me for a minute while I battle with this sellotape. Ah. I've been waiting for this. This is very much a guilty pleasure. Loads of bubble wrap. Big bubble wrap. Okay, here it is. Da, 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 da. So, this is the second limited edition box design of this design this year. If you watched last month's Boxu unboxing, you'll see that that box was the same as this one. So I'm gonna be keeping this one too. Sorry. Right, here we go. It's for October. Halloween is in October and this month's theme is Haunted Harvest. So, I love these books. They're great. Some bump that you get with boxes isn't really worth shouting about, but these are fab. And if you want... You can mark on these pages to say which ones you like. For your own reference, of course, you don't have to send this in. Because it tells you what is in the classic, the tasting, and the vegetarian box. Yes, for vegetarians, they do do a vegetarian box. There isn't a vegan box yet, but it won't surprise me if they do produce one, because... The number of people that are becoming vegan is rising year on year. I myself, I'm not vegan. I do like some animal products too much. Um, I love honey on toast. Couldn't have it if it was vegan. I love milk in my tea. Couldn't have that if I was vegan. And bacon. Sorry, vegan friends. Bacon. Love bacon. Anyway, I digress. So... There's a card from Danny Teng, the founder, with a little pumpkin on the front. And it says, thank you for being a spooky boxu member. I hope your October has been all treats and no tricks. We're not very far into it yet, Danny, but thank you for the sentiment. Have you been to our blog lately? No, I'll admit that I haven't, but I will have a look. If you're craving more Japan, head on over to read our latest posts on Japanese culture, snacks and more. Boksu.com slash blog. I am proud to deliver this month's snacks and teas to you in our custom designed seasonal Boksu box. I hope you feel cloaked in the dark of night with this month's limited edition black Boksu. See you there. Okay. Here we go. So we got a page about let's learn Japanese and this is one that's in every one of these little books that comes with the box. 
you get some phrases and it shows you how they're written in Japanese and what they are in English and a an explanation for some of them because uh, we've we've got for example an obake which is a word for monster usually written in hiragana only and hints that this monster might be cute so here we go look at this lot how good's that sorry i might wobble on a bit could be a long video we're into five and a half minutes already so first thing that we've got if i can find it oh. at least i think i can it's here is it hiding? Oh, it's down here in the bottom. <clears throat> is organic hujicha tea. So there's usually a couple of packets of this. Um, it's roasted organic Japanese green tea. So that'll be nice. I like green tea. I like tea. Shitloads of tea in the cupboard. Sorry, didn't mean to swear. Right, so the next one, if I can find it, is lurking somewhere, I'm sure. Ah, here we go. Sukisamu Anpan Kabocha Pumpkin Red Bean. So this is um, like a, a spongy, cakey thing. Uh, and it, um, it's a sweet roll with a filling, most commonly red bean, that in this case is a white bean paste mixed with kabocha filling. Um, so they style it for Halloween, make it look a little bit like a pumpkin. It's nice and substantial. It's a thick a thickish cakey biscuity type thing so that's going to be nice i reckon already i'm going to minute because i've dropped something on the floor back in a sec oh right so the next thing is kocha black tea donut looks quite nice already Sorry if there's any sort of computer glare off my glasses. I've got the screen on behind the phone. Uh, it's a delicious donut. It's the fall dessert of our dreams. Black tea leaves are infused into the batter to create a dense, creamy donut that melts in your mouth to reveal the aromatic flavour of royal milk tea. As black tea has a more floral flavour, we can recommend pairing this donut with an earthy tea like this month's roasted hojicha. So, tea and donuts. Next up, we got uh, uh, lost in the box, maybe. Um, I'll come back to that one. Um, Next one that I can find is Kinako Kurumi Walnut Mochi, which is this little dude, and it's a squidgy little thing. If um, if any of you are, have had uh, mochi before, um, you'll know how soft and squidgy they are. Um, I'm not going into depth on a description of them. Um, but this is lovingly dusted with kinako, which is roasted soybean powder. This mochi is made with and contains little bits of kurumi, which are walnuts, in them. Soft and stretchy, this mochi is just the right start to the beginning of the autumn months with its deep nutty flavour from the combined powder of the kinako and walnut. For more intensity, a good dose of soy sauce is also added to the dough for a little unexpected saltiness. A bit heavier in flavour than the Kurumi Walnut Mochi. Which one do you like better? Well, I don't know because I've not found the other ones yet and I haven't tried them. Anyway, so I'm guessing... Ah, here we go. Look, I found it. This is the Kurumi Walnut Mochi. 
a uh, great start for any person new to the adorably squishy joys of mochi uh, with a light flavor and interesting texture from the addition of chopped walnuts needed to get throughout the dough this little rectangular mochi will make a mochi lover out of you we love the faint notes of soy sauce that tangos with the sugary coating you'll go nuts for this mochi with how warm and fuzzy it'll get you feeling right in time for the autumn so that's that one next up we have got lost in the box again ah here we are satsuma precious chips salt and brown sugar flavor not got it upside down have i no i don't think i have uh, so these are some fancy chips made with silk sweet sweet potatoes from kagoshima these chips are thick cut with a delicious natural sweetness that lives up to its name these sophisticated chips don't stop there though their special seasoning contains star sand salt from yoron island in kagoshima and unrefined brown sugar for an added hint of salty sweet flavor made from precious ingredients from satsuma the old name for kagoshima prefecture this snack truly deserves the name Satsuma Precious. So then, after this, we have Mochi Puffs. Mochi Puffs. Mochi Puffs are oh, gorgeous. First ones I had from Boxu were some cheese ones and they were absolutely divine. So these are Funwari Maijin Mochi Puffs. Anuimo Sweet Potato. Nothing says autumn like the rich sweet flavour of a freshly roasted roast. Oh God, I'm so excited I can't talk. For a roasted sweet potato, this special fall flavour of our favourite mochi puffs is a stunning recreation of this fall staple. The first taste is sweet, light brown sugar, but quickly melts into a buttery delight. The complex sweetness of sweet potato is hard to describe, but do we need to when this puff is so perfectly captures its flavour? Rich in flavour, yet light in texture. They are. They're so light. They just disappear in your mouth. They are gorgeous. Uh, these mysterious mochi puffs have wowed us again. I could eat a whole box full of these because they're just so nice. Okay. So, the next ones are covered in bits of straw. I think this is the right one. Oh, no, no, got the wrong ones. Hang on, let me put those back. Right. So, Sanrio characters, Halloween cookie assorbed. With a little hello kitty on the pack. We've included two flavours of Halloween cookie for you to enjoy. I think this is the other one. Yes, it is. Chocolate and pudding. Each package features an adorable Sanrio character in a Halloween get-up. The pudding version offers up a simple vanilla flavour cookie with a creamy pudding centre, while the chocolate version has a chocolate cookie and a rich chocolate ganache filling. <laughs> Some of these playful packages even have mini games for an extra dose of fun. So that's those two. Right. Next up, we have got Pushy Pure Gummy Halloween Assort Pack. Again, two different ones. So, these fruity gummies are making their debut this month in special Halloween colours, featuring orange and grape flavours. For the festive orange and purple packaging, we're happy to get these in our Halloween baskets. These gummies are shaped like little hearts with a sour exterior to balance a sweet interior. Each flavourful bite delivers the concentrated flavour of real fruit juice. Fruity and refreshing, it makes a lovely complement to the warmer comfort food flavours featured this month. Then we got the map of Japan telling you where everything in the box comes from. These books are great, they're just so factful. Absolutely fab. Right, next ones, there's three of 
them. And these are buttercorn rice crackers. This little rice cracker features the delicious flavour of buttercorn. The dough itself has corn mixed in and an extra buttery outside that makes it oh so yummy. A little savoury and a little sweet, this treat is popping with flavour and will make you as happy as the corn mascot on the packaging. Have I got him upside down? Yes, I have. Sorry. <laughs> um, on the packaging, keep it simple and delicious. Keeping it simple and delicious, butter corn will leave you wanting more. So we've got three in the box. Right, so the next one is Kinoko no Manama. Whatever. Kinoko no Mama. Ma and the, no, I was right first time. No manama, ma manama. Sorry, iringi mushroom chips, butter plus soy sauce flavour. Um, a few months ago there was another um packet similar to these in, in the box, and they were so nice, so so nice. So, these unique chips are made with slices of umami rich iringi king oyster mushroom. Seasoned with butter and soy sauce, this chip's delicate mushroom flavour greets you at the end of each bite. Through though, though the slices of mushroom seem thick, they're surprisingly light and have a satisfying crunch. The iringi mushroom is popular in Japan for its meaty stem and is a great substitute for meat in vegetarian diets. The dishes even. <sighs> It's delicious when sautéed or grilled, but we think this tasty chip is our favourite way to enjoy iringi. Okay, next one. It's this nice, chunky-sized packet. Look at this, nearly as big as my head. Uh, this is Danran Okaki Rice Cracker Uni. This fried rice cracker really hits the spot with its rich buttery flavour. Get the buttery thing through, running through the theme here. I like butter as well. I make my own, you know. Uh, thick yet light, this cracker proudly boasts 100% domestically grown Japanese rice. That'll be what this, this is in the bottom corner here. After being fried to perfection, each cracker is generously drizzled with uni flavoured sea urchin sauce to impart the cracker with uni's signature buttery flavour. In Japan, uni is harvested between September and April, making this the perfect time to discover this seasonal delight. Though uni is sometimes a controversial flavour, we love this buttery, briny jewel of the sea, and this rice cracker is a great way to try it if you've never had it before. Looking forward to it already. Next up, we have Men Zaku, Zaku, Zaku Ramen Sticks. Gutan plus salt flavour. Okay, so these tasty fried noodles really make a bang from the first bite. This maker's history goes back to 1889, so over 100 years old. But not these ones in the bag, of course, just the company. And ever since then, they aim to share the flavours of Miyagi Prefecture with the world. These unique noodles feature wheat from Miyagi, which are actually fried in rice oil, which isn't something you hear every day. A local delicacy popular in the fall and winter from Miyagi's capital city, Sendai, inspired this snack, noodles with beef tongue. Don't shy away from this unique flavour, which also includes a good dose of black pepper for kick. Should be nice. Right. And there's more. Next up, there, this is Kaki Mochi Mochi Rice Crackers Kobukaki. I hope I'm pronouncing this all right. Ah, this savoury rice cracker features kombu seaweed from Hidaka in Hokkaido, which is famous for its high quality kelp. You can see flecks of this umami rich ingredient baked into each cracker, along with soy sauce and salt for an addictingly savoury taste. It's actually kombu that led to the discovery of umami, the fifth flavour. Kombu's popularity in cooking and snacks is due to its ability to enhance the other flavours in a dish without taking the spotlight. 
Here, though, Kombu is a fun guest star. The flavour of rice shines through. This belong blah, 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 blah. beloved grain is the bedrock of the Japanese diet and has two harvest periods throughout the year, one in spring and one in fall. So, next, we've got Baby Star Ramen Sticks Halloween. Is there anything more comforting in the colder months than a nice warm bowl of classical Japanese ramen? While we can't guarantee or advise that this snack is warm, you can get the flavour of ramen with the crunchy texture of these dried noodles. Even more befitting the season is the fun and funky Halloween designs on the packaging. Between the festive season and the unbeatable ramen flavour taste of this snack, just try to not get in the Halloween spirit. So we've got these front of the pack like that. And then on the back, we've got this little character here. And there's a QR code as well, so I might scan that later and see what it comes up with. <clears throat> right, next up, there is Onigiri Senbai Halloween Soy Sauce Flavour. And we've got two of them. These little fellas in their Halloween packaging. And this Onigiri Senbai is celebrating Halloween with this special two pack of Yumi Shoyu soy sauce Senbai. Two large rice bowl shaped Senbai are wrapped in fun, festive Halloween themed packaging with their mascot dressed up in costumes. So we've got a mummy and I'm guessing this one is a little ghost. Blah, 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 blah. Featuring the classically simple flavours of soy sauce and nori, seaweed. This senbai reminds us that sometimes a simple thing well executed can be truly satisfying. Next we have Otona no Otsumami Crunch. Ebi plus black pepper. Nice, chunky, sticky, sticky stick things. So, the cousin of our to our boxu favourite, Ebi Crunch. This Ebi Crunch black pepper balances flavour with a mix of rice crackers and peanuts, but packs on the heat with a concentrated punch of pepper. This snack is the perfect accompaniment to your next happy hour beverage with their puffy frame and a generous helping of seasoning. Elevating a classic shrimp chip, this variety uses Sakura Ebi, one of Japan's more, most rare shrimps, primarily found in Suruga Bay in Shizu... Shizu... Shizu oh, golly, sorry. Uh, Shizuka. Sakura Ebi have two harvest seasons in the spring and fall, which make it a sort after seasonal treat. Right down in the bottom of the box, I've got two more of the green tea bags, so that's three cups of tea and lots to eat. So, there is no more in the box, except those two tea bags, because I've just popped them back in. So we have a Meet the Maker page uh, for Honma and Pan uh, from Sapporo. Uh, and that's a little bit of the history there. That goes over onto another page. I'll tell you all about the, uh, the products that that company makes. And we've got Scary Stories from Japan. Sara Yashiki. All seasonally themed for Halloween. So, then we've got a bit of info on the Boksu community. As a little highlight on uh, a couple of the staff. We've got member spotlight on JP Benini, who I'm guessing isn't a member of staff. And then the other one isn't a member of staff either. It's an experience winner uh, at Digital Dog. Um, 
so yes they they do have a, a little competition where you might be able to win your next box for free if you make up a picture of everything you get in the box that's been delivered um and take a photo of it and put it on their snapchat page or or whatever um so next month's hint fall is not over the air is still crisp and cool in this city's streets um there's a chance to win 500 points by taking the october 19 uh feedback survey all the information is there on the box the back of the book not on the box of the back um and there's also the address for the boxu.com market if you want to get more of the snacks inside the lid as always there is the 10 percent off um code so i'm not going to repeat that again because i've said it on an on an earlier unboxing so this that, that's it for the october stroke halloween boxu box and as i say this is this is the classic box not the tasting box and not the vegetarian box the classic box always has more stuff in so anyway i'm gonna get off and finish drinking my tea that i started in that last video and maybe try a couple of these things so please leave me a comment down below tell me what you think um give me a like maybe subscribe to these videos um i'm not sure when my next box of things from somewhere will come so might be in a couple of weeks whenever anyway i'm gonna get off drink the rest of this tea before it does go stone cold and i will see you in the next unboxing bye guys